What's happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast, where we discuss about everything Marvel and the MC. Rumor has it that Spider-Man 4 will begin filming in late 2023 with a massive budget and an aim for 2025 release date. This news comes as fans eagerly await the new release of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse later on this year after Sony teased that with a trailer. Since these reports have fans excited for what may be the most thrilling year for the MCU yet, it implies that an official release date will likely be released soon. But before we get started, keep in mind that these are only rumors and there has been no official confirmation. And as such, as I always say on this channel, you should take every unofficial report with a hefty grain of salt. And guys, we're giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel when we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, Please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. And now, why the tremendous fans' anticipation drives the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe? One IP falls under the umbrella and is a monster unto itself. The fan base of Tom Holland led Peter Parker franchise is insane and uncountable. The conclusion of Phase 4 Phase 5 is about to launch with Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, and we've been hearing that the MCU bosses are quietly shaping Spider Man 4. However, there has been no official updates yet. And as per new report, the release period and budget for the next Tom Holland-led Spider-Man movie, as we all know, Tom Holland became MCU's youngest Spider-Man with Homecoming and the actor broke so many records with his last outing, which report says has been signed for another three solo films. Spider-Man No Way Home, which debuted just over a year ago, promised a new era for Tom Holland Spidey in a never-before success story for the studio. There is no doubt that they will continue the standalone franchise with Holland. It appears that we received the much-anticipated hint that fans everywhere have been waiting for. What will be served next? The excitement for Spider-Man 4 is at an all-time high, even though the MCU grows with each new project. Additionally, in the closing moments of Spider-Man No Way Home, we saw Peter Parker striding on on his own in Manhattan and taking it back to the basis approach to crime fighting without Tony Stark or his tech. Now, if the rumors are to be believed, production of Spider-Man 4 will start shortly meaning that if all goes according to plan, they will really start filming this year. Additionally, the movie that is expected to build the success of No Way Home is also rumored to have the huge budget of $200 million. With a budget that enormous, I wonder how many web slingers will be involved this time. Furthermore, there have been rumors regarding what the MCU Spider-Man will do next. Fans feel certain that this time, it will involve a team-up with Daredevil as the two will combat Kimpin and make another effort to take over New York City. If so, it will probably emerge from Daredevil Born Again story when it debuts on Disney Plus in early of 2024. Perhaps, it's too far-fetched to believe any reliable reports that seem to have been discovered. Despite this, it can be reasonably certain that MJ played by Zendaya and Ned played by Jacob Battalion who both presently attend MIT have no memories of Peter Parker won't play any significant role in the plot. Other supporting are wishing for Hobgoblin, Venom, Perhaps Tom Addy, or maybe Scorpion, or even Vulture. But whatever and whatever it is, it will definitely be a street level affair with a dark magic or cosmic affairs, even though Venom left the symbiote in No Way Home, which I believe we'll get to see in Secret Wars and not Spider Man 4. Also, Maz Morales, who has already been mentioned by name in the MCU in a deleted scene from Spider Man Homecoming, could make his MCU debut. And this time, I hope we get a little bit of Miles, even if it's a small cameo, just to kind of introduce a live action Miles Morales into the MCU, maybe as a buddy for Peter Parker, as nobody remembers him. But Spider Man 4 could be sort of like an origin story. So, I'm extremely hyped for it. And I think the sooner Sony and Marvel release Spider Man 4, the better, especially since Avatar The Way of Water is likely to unseat Spider Man No Way Home as the sixth highest grossing film of all time. And we suspect that either Sony nor Marvel will allow theaters to go for that long without a successful web slinging adventure. And it does look like the three time Academy Award winner is confident in his abilities, that is, no way that he would be anticipating anything other than extraordinary high success from Avatar The Way of Water. And even though James Cameron claimed that the franchise goods will be cooked if the second installment failed to turn a profit. After all, it takes a certain amount of ego to constantly change the way movies are made, but it's not like Cameron's mouth has ever been able to write checks that his filmography couldn't crash. Currently, the Titanic director is responsible for six of the highest grossing movies ever, but that is about to change. 
because the way of water might overtake Spider-Man No Way Home, which sits at 1.916 billion very soon, which means that another MCU epic has fallen to Cameron, a tiny veiled MCU hater. Furthermore, half of all six films that have grossed over 2 billion will have been directed by the same person, as will 50% of the six highest box office successes in movie history. To put it mildly, that is completely insane. It even gets crazier when you consider that Avatar 2 was dubbed a bomb after only its first weekend of release. The only MCU epics currently making money more than The Way of Water are Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, and we have a sneaking hunch that it won't be for long until it surpasses the 2.048 billion of the former. Additionally, Spider-Man 4 may not be officially announced by Sony for some time, and Marvel is unable to comment on the project as it does not control the character's cinematic right. I mean, at Comic-Con and D23 Expos last year, Marvel revealed the majority of its multiverse saga films and television programs. Spider-Man 4 was noticeably absent. Even Marvel and Sony had previously stated that the project was in works, but Sony wasn't mentioned because these were announced specifics to the MCU from Marvel. The release date for Spider-Man 4 was therefore kept a secret. However, there is no denying that Spider-Man 4 movie is in the works. It will probably be a new MCU trilogy starring Tom Holland's Spider-Man. According to a recent source, production on Spider-Man 4 will begin at the end of 2023, which suggests that the formal announcement and release date may be close. Also, I'm sure you're unaware that Sony is in charge of the movie rights to Spider-Man characters, but keeping to those rights, the company needs to release the new Spider-Man films every few years. Moreover, the all MCU films are required to follow Marvel's guidelines. That implies that Marvel wants fans to see Peter Parker turn into Spider-Man before Avengers Secret Wars hit theaters since Spider-Man must be one of the Avengers who battle Kang, played by Jonathan Majors in these films. As a result, Spider-Man 4 will however have to come before the two Avengers film, the Kang Dynasty which is scheduled for release in May 2nd of 2025 and Avengers Secret Wars which is scheduled for release in May 1st of 2026. This is the only way for Spider-Man to be ready to rejoin the Avengers. Additionally, if Spider-Man 4 begins filming by the end of this year, a 2024 release date might make sense. Even the beginning of 2025 would work with the future Avengers film. However, the addition of Spider-Man 4 to the crowded 2024 MCU schedule may necessitate some adjustments to the present enable. As I've already mentioned, even so, Spider-Man 4 presents a kind of scheduling difficulty that Marvel will enjoy handling. Several movies are scheduled to be released in 2024, including Blade for September 6th, Deadpool 3 for November 8th, Thunderbolts for July 26th, Captain America The New World Order for May 3rd. With this roster, 2024 is already shaping to be one of the best MCU most thrilling years. It will be difficult to top 2024 with Spider-Man 4 added to the mix. And back to our giveaway. We're giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notification, like and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, we want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts about this video? And how excited are you for the latest Spider-Man movie? And what do you think of the rumored budget? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.